my research is in kind of two main themes. A theme that deals with observations and a theme that deals with modelling and the connection of the two, which is very important. The modelling studies that I'm involved in uh, focus on modelling key processes of the climate system and in particular processes that lead us to understand the rise and fall of water in the atmosphere. So all part of the major hydrological cycle. And uh, modelling involves modelling the detailed cloud processes, precipitation processes and the global climate system as a whole. The observations is very heavily weighted towards what we call remote sensing, which is using sophisticated instruments that fly on satellites and, in other, and on the ground as well to observe the atmosphere. I currently lead a major NASA program to fly a new kind of radar on a satellite. It's called CloudSat. The way we bring satellite and models together is we look at the satellite observations, try to study these processes from the way they occur in the real world and test models against these observations. CloudSat is a unique experiment. Uh, was proposed by myself to NASA and NASA funded it about, oh, about four years ago now and it was going to be launched next year, next April. Uh, it will fly in orbit for a number of years collecting unique information about clouds and precipitation in, in, a, in a way that's never been done before from space. So it's kind of exciting and it will form what we call the NASA A-Train. And the A-Train is a series of satellites that are flying very close together, making sort of simultaneous observations of the Earth below. And the idea that we have is to combine all these observations to, to study the Earth as a system. CloudSat is, well, although it's funded by NASA, it also has support and actually funding from the Canadians. The Canadian Space Agency is funding some part of the instrument. The US Air Force is funding some part of the mission and they are actually flying the spacecraft. Um, there are other partners such as Ball Aerospace in Boulder who are building the spacecraft. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena is building the radar uh, in conjunction with the Canadian Space Agency. And uh, the students in my group get to experience the whole sort of spectrum of activities associated with the design and implementation of satellite missions um, and the science that we do with satellite missions. And so they're exposed to kind of in a very unique way, I think, to all aspects of, of satellite meteorology. As I said, my main research themes are in the rise and fall, study the rise and fall of water, as I like to say. Um, my research will probably continue along those lines with some emphasis again in modelling processes, but I expect that we will probably uh, develop a follow-on to CloudSat. Um, and I expect that follow-on will be quite a significant increase in terms of the nature of the observing system that we design. So there will be some designing of new satellite observing systems coming along the line, I think, that um, uh, we will be pursuing in the coming years. My research is ultimately leading to a, a kind of better understanding about how the Earth as a system evolves and changes, continually changes, and really I think where the research is going to be leading in the next number of years is a better understanding of how man himself influences the environment around him, um, and in particular how man himself influences the water resources that he uses. That's a very critical issue for, for society, and particularly in a society where uh, we're going to experience um, change in our climate system. So the research, I believe, is going to give us a better basis for understanding how man has affected or not the climate and environment around him.